What's going on everybody? Welcome to this episode on IS Faster. Today we will be talking about the brake pads that I use on my Lexus ISF. That's right, I use two different brake pads, one for the street and one for mostly track. Those pads would be the Project Mew NS400s for the street and the Project Mew HC800s for the track. I'm gonna talk about a little bit about how I came to find out about these pads, why I chose them, what I like, don't like about them, as well as price and just overall feel uh, on the road and road courses. So stay tuned and let's get this review started. Let's start things off with the Project Mew NS400s. These are the street pads that I use on a normal daily basis. And I got these because I needed a replacement for the OEM pads. Those, had, those were going out, they um, had, have ser had served their life and I wanted to see what the aftermarket held for different pads. I, uh, I really like the OEM pads. They, they felt good, they fit well, they withstood heat um, out on the canyons and just normal day driving like I think they should have. Uh, but there was two things that I did not like about them and I was hoping to find a pad that would correct that. And that was the amount of dust that those OEM pads created as well as the high pitched screech that you would hear sometimes upon slowing down or you know going to a stop sign or a stop. Uh, it didn't happen all the time, but it did enough to irritate me. Um, the, speaking of the dust, that I could not, I, I could not stand. I would wash my car, go for a 30, 40 mile drive, come home, the front wheels were noticeably darker than the rear wheels because of the amount of dust that these uh, OEM pads created. I'd put my finger on the wheel and look and it'd just be black. So I could not stand that anymore. And so I wanted to find something that would help to alleviate that. So I went on Club Lexus and tried to, uh, you know, ask the question of uh, what pads should I get? You know, I just need a street pad. And everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people were, were recommending the Project Muse and the NS400s for just street use. And so I gave them a shot. I went and looked online, actually found this box along with a second box for the rears at um, modernjapan.com and good, uh, good vendor made their transaction very easy and I bought them for $300 about two years ago and that was a good price you know I thought that was fair but unfortunately you are not going to get these pads you know front and rear for that price anymore it's more going to be at least like uh, close to 500 if not more dollars because from what I understand from a different vendor they said that the manufacturing location changed on these Project Muse from Thailand to Japan. Something happened and they started producing them back in Japan. Project Mew is a Japanese company. And when they did that, the next lot that was sent to the US just went up in price from $300 to $500. So they kind of, uh, you know, that it's not, that's not fun, but you know, if you want these, uh, these pads, that's what you're gonna pay today. Um, these are a very, very good street pad. They, uh, they do everything as well as the OEM pads did. They bite just as well. They seem to withstand, you know, heat on the street just as well. They feel good. They have good um, pedal feel. And mo most importantly, they have zero, uh, well, not zero dust. They have some dust, but close to zero dust. It's almost amazing how little dust these produce. I'll go, you know, I'll wash my car go drive, I'll drive it for days, weeks, and put on, you know, 100, 200 plus miles on it. And then I check to see how much brake dust, barely any brake dust, I can't believe. It's almost astonishing how low the brake dust is on these pads and zero squeaks at all. I've had these for two years, about 12,000 miles. And I have never heard them squeak once. Um, so it solved both of the problems that I had with the OEM pads and still retain the OEM uh, street performance. So definitely a very, very good buy. Um, I don't know if there's another pad that you know has these same type of characteristics, but you know, five stars. I really like them for the street use. And just a quick like note, 400, NS400, that stands for 400 degrees centigrade. That is the, um, temperature uh, uh, threshold that these pads 
can take. So if you are looking for a street pad and you don't mind paying the extra money that they are now, $300, I thought these were a great value. Um, $500, you know, I'm kind of, I don't know if I, I don't know if I would get a second set for that much money. Um, but if you, if you don't mind paying that much, then, and you're looking for a good street only pad with uh, low, very low dust and no, absolutely no squeaking, then without a doubt, get the Project Mu NS 400s. Now let's talk about the Project Mu HC 800s. These are my track pads. These are the ones that I use every time I'm on a road course. And I bought these because I wondered if the NS 400s were up to the task of tracking. And when I asked a couple people about them, they said, no, do not use those NS 400s on a road course. They get way, they would get way too hot and they would just be consumed very fast and there's a safety aspect because they're gonna be overheated. You might run into a wall, you might run into another driver, you might go off track. So a lot of bad things can happen if your brakes fail on the track. So I did not want that to happen. So I looked into another pad that was more track focused and these are the ones after talking with a couple people and getting some recommendations from ISFs that have tracked, these are the ones that I went with. And just like the name is HC 800, they can, uh, their temperature, uh, a high end temperature rating is up to 800 degrees centigrade, which is double the NS 400s. And they definitely take the abuse that I put them through on the track. I can actually show you these because I don't have them on my car right now. So let me pull these out and kind of show you what the pads look like. They actually start off this kind of aqua green color, brand new, and they say HC 800 over them, but over time, just uh, and just use heat and the brake grease that you use on them, excuse me, they, um, they turn black. And these have uh, about three millimeters left on the, on the pad, which I think will be good for one more track day before I have to uh, get new ones and I you know, I do love uh, really like these pads I'm actually going to be buying another set of the of them pretty soon to have um, You know in stock while uh, you know when these after these go bad I'll have a set, second set to or a, a backup set to put on just in case um, These do go out early or just have them for the next track day So I will be buying these again because I think they're a very good pad and I bought these uh, uh, pads from Speed Freaks USA. I talked to Matt there. He's very knowledgeable. Um, you know, helped me pick out the right pad that I needed for my um, for my situation. Uh, I got these pads, the front and rears, for three hundred and seventy five dollars there. So they are uh, you know pretty well priced. You know, I think that these are uh, one of the I'd say the cheaper pads that that are uh, track I guess track worthy. Um, there are some other good ones, but they are a little bit more expensive. So um, if you if you are going to track your ISF, definitely think about these. Um, these are a street and a sport pad, or a street and sport, but or street or track pad. So you can use them as both. Um, there's no problem with using it as uh, as a dual a dual pad. They're not you know mainly just for track where. They're, they have to get to a certain temperature rating so that they can properly stop. No, they don't need to do that. I've, I've ran them on the street. I use, uh, sometimes I'll run them on the street, you know, a week or two before and after um, a track day just because I don't have time to change them out. Or if I have track days that are pretty close together by a few weeks, then I'll just leave them in the whole time and uh, they work very well on the street. They bite very well. They, um, they bite a lot harder than those NS 400s and, um, and you can really just feel how much of a more aggressive pad they are. But the, you know, some people ask, why don't you use this, you know, both, you know, just, or just, why don't you use just this instead of the NS 400? Why even use that one anymore? Well, two reasons, brake dust and the squeaking sounds. These bring back the OEM level dust and they bring back the squeaking on you know slow stops. So those are two things that, you know, like I said earlier, kind of bother me. 
and unfortunately that's what you get with a track focused pad that is that has a um, that has a different compound than a street pad and it's more aggressive and you know it stops better so you're going to have a lot more brake dust as well as the squeaking so those are the two main or those are the two reasons why I don't use these all the time I only use them for you know in and around track days and um, but I really do like these pads I think they are you know very good for the track I've, they've never let me down and um, I will be buying a second set of these so NS400 for the street and HC800s for the track. These are a great one-two combination pad for this car. And um, if you uh, don't mind the brake dust or squeaking sounds and you know overall value for dollar, I would definitely have to say the HC800s just because they're about $125 less than the current price of these NS400s. Uh, and they can uh, you, you know withstand track duty if you are into that. You know, if you if if I had to pick between these two, I would pick these HC 800s because um, they just seem like a better overall pad for what I need them for. Um, I think that these are a great pad for the Lexus ISF. You know, I'm not the only buddy, uh, only person that thinks that. Go on the Club Lexus, and you are going to see good things said about both of these pads by a lot of different people that use them. So. Um, I unfortunately have not tried any other pads between besides these two and the OEM pads and so I can't give a very good comparison uh, to the other brands that are out there. There are you know other great pads that I see people talk about and have very you know good things to say about them but um, I, you know there if, if you've looked for pads for your Lexus ISF then you know the range that you can get these from. I've seen some as low as $150 for all four, all the way up to $1,700 for all four. So just a huge range for um, for pads, you know, depending on what, what they're needed for, their specific um, use and goals and, uh, you know, different budgets that people have. So, the you know, there there is a wide, uh, uh, wide range as long as well as a wide variety of companies that are um, producing pads for the ISF. So, you know, if you uh, if you want, give these a try. Give the Project Muse a shot. I think you will enjoy them and um, really like how they feel. Um, if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. I think I answered most of uh, what people asked in this video. And if, uh, you know, if you do have anything that I did not cover, then please go ahead and write a comment down below and I will get to you uh, when I get a chance. So, I ho really hope that you learned something from this video and um, I, you know, I, I look forward to making the next one. So if you did like it, please subscribe and like, and we will talk to you soon and get you ne uh, the next one coming out pretty, uh, pretty shortly here.